We wish to be happy ourselves, so we should wish others to be happy too. We wish to be free from suffering, so we should wish that all beings may also be free from suffering. We should think, may all living creatures find happiness and the cause of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the cause of suffering. May they always have perfect happiness, free from suffering. May they live in equanimity, without attachment or hatred, but with love towards all, without any discrimination. At the moment, when we are happy ourselves, we feel that that is enough. And if other people are unhappy, it's not our problem. When we are unhappy, we just want to get rid of whatever we find unpleasant as soon as possible. We neither remember nor care that others might be unhappy too. This is all delusion. Instead, put others in your place and put yourself in their place. This is called exchanging yourselves with others. To feel overflowing love and almost unbearable compassion for all living creatures is the best way to fulfill the wishes of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Even if for the moment we cannot actually help anyone in an external way, we should meditate on love and compassion constantly over the months and years until compassion is knit inseparably into the very fabric of our mind. As we try to practice and progress on the path, it is essential to remember that our efforts are for the sake of others. Be humble and remember that all your exertions are child's play compared to the vast and infinite activity of the bodhisattvas. Like parents providing for the children they love so much, we should never think that we have done too much for others, or even enough.
even if we finally manage to establish all living creatures in perfect Buddhahood. We should simply think that all our wishes have been fulfilled. There must never be so much as a trace of hope for any benefit for ourselves in return. The essence of the Bodhisattva practice is to go beyond our own self-clinging and dedicate ourselves completely to serving others. The Bodhisattva's activity hinges on the mind, not on how our actions might appear externally. True generosity is the absence of clinging. Ultimate discipline is the absence of desire. And authentic patience is the absence of hatred. Bodhisattvas are able to give away their kingdom, their body, their dearest possessions because they have completely overcome any inner impoverishment and are unconditionally ready to fulfill the needs of others.